Good morning. We're here at the Longs Peak Trailhead and we pulled up at about 10 till 7 and I'd say that there was maybe about 10 to 12 spots left up here. Not too bad. I think that it's a little less crowded because of the snow on Longs. I think Longs Peak is still out of commission and that's why there's not a lot of people here right now because normally we're parking halfway down the road in the middle of July. So we're here to do Chasm Lake. It's my mom's birthday hike. And this is the one that we chose. Happy birthday. Thank you. We're starting off here at the Longs Peak Trailhead at about 9,400 feet in elevation. And the hike to Chasm isn't too bad. I believe it's like, what, like 4.2 miles or something like that? Three to four miles, not too bad. Should be a nice relaxing one. We're starting off here on the Longs Peak Trail at about five till seven. Only 3.7 more miles to Chasm Lake. We're up here to the beginning of the tundra, but guess what guys? They have removed the tundra sign. It used to be right here. I have that in like every single video that I've ever done of this trail. And now it's gone. It's a beautiful day out here in Colorado. Another beautiful blue sky. And we're working our way up to the tundra. And we are about ready to break the tree line. And I just want to remind everybody, it's July 11th. July 11th, not June. And we still have all this snow up here. Hey buddy. I can't say I remember this ever being here, so we're thinking this might be where the new tundra sign's gonna be. Or the same tundra sign, they're just gonna move it, we're not sure, but... Honestly, this makes more sense because this is a little bit closer to the actual tundra than back by the waterfall. Looking up at Meeker, Longs, and Mount Lady Washington, and we're gonna continue to follow the trail until about right there. That's Chasm Junction. And from there we're going to split off and walk down to Chasm Lake. And here's another change in the signs. Right here at Jim's Grove Junction, it used to say Long's Peak 4 miles. Now it says 5 miles, which is accurate. I'm telling you, when, when it, you come up here for your first time and you see 4 miles, you get a false sense of security. You think you can go do it. But no, five, five is accurate. We've already come about 2.5 so far. We're getting pretty close. Not too much further. We're arriving to where those big giant Karens are. 
Here's my addition. That guy came running past me down the trail. He ran about six inches by my foot. That was funny. He started running down from about right up here. He just, he just runs right by me like I'm not even here. And after about two hours and 15 minutes worth of hiking, we're up here to Chasm Junction. And this is beautiful up here. This is where you can split off and do Mount Lady Washington, or Long's Peak, Meeker. This is Chasm Junction. As far as elevation gain goes on this hike, you're going to do about 95% of it up to Chasm Junction. Once you get up to Chasm Junction, it's pretty much done. Uh, you look across the way and Chasm Lake is about the same elevation as the junction, so you kind of just walk over to it. It's real easy, real nice. And then on the way back, it's all downhill. And that's looking down to Peacock Pool at the base of the Columbine Falls, which we will see here in a moment when we get around the corner. Chasm Lake is going to be right here. And right there is going to be Columbine Falls. And I can already see the snowfield that we have to hike through. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and take this moment to remind everybody that it's July 11th. Whoa. Woo. It's July 11th, not June 11th. Oh my God. You guys ever seen those videos of the dudes walking across that little snow ledge on Everest? This is kind of like that, but not really. But then again, you know, I don't want to go sliding off into that. Looks like we got one more snowfield to pass.
lake is going to be right up here. There's the birthday girl making the final push up here to Chasm Lake. And we're up here, folks. And it took us just a little longer than three hours to get up here. We were in no kind of hurry, we were just taking our time and enjoying it. So I'd say that's a good average time. This is what happens when you go up in elevation. Your things fill full of air. That was not like that this morning when I grabbed it. <laughs> Looking up at the ship's prow right there. That looks totally inaccessible at the moment because there's snow all to the left of it. And then this big giant floating island of ice is working its way over to us. It's about 11 11. I'd say we've been sitting up here at this lake for about an hour now and a lot more people are starting to show up so it's time to go. It's time to head on back. We're starting the descent down. I've done this a bunch of times and I believe this is going to be the best way. Almost like little built-in stairs. Look at that beautiful blue sky up there. It's absolutely amazing. It's a little smoky. Some of the mountains in the distance are a little hazed out. But then again, we got fires going on. That's what happens. These rocks up here are a little smooth, a little polished and buffed down, but not too bad. I think a fun way to go down is right here along these flat ones. out of it.
and we're back to the snow field here. This is the only thing that I'm worried about. This is definitely the crux of the hike today. Because if you start sliding down this, it's really steep up there, as you can see. And we did it. We navigated the crux. It, it's just going to get slick right there, and the consequences could be very bad. Because I don't know if you're going to be able to stop yourself before you go smashing into those rocks. And we're almost done with this little tiny uphill section back to Chasm Junction. Where we will then have all downhill the rest of the way. No ups and downs, nothing. Just straight on downhill all the way back to the trailhead. And I myself am looking forward to it. And we're back up here to Chasm Junction. And from here on out, it is down, down, down. All the way back to the Longs Peak Trailhead. The day is remaining beautiful. Just awesome. What great weather. The last three days have been phenomenal. We just passed the waterfall which means we are officially back in the trees. And from this point, back to the trailhead, we're looking at about an hour. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and make one quick comment about this Long's Peak Trail. It's flipping nice. It's super wide, cleared out, smooth. I mean, when you're coming down off something hard like Long's Peak or even the Keyhole, you know, this, this is nice for the last few miles. It's real relaxing. There's a bunch of built-in steps. I don't know. I like it. And we're back. This is probably my favorite fence in all of Rocky Mountain National Park. Because like I've said in other videos, it means you're back down here to the Long's Peak Ranger Station. It's about 1.45 right now. We left down at roughly 11.15ish. So that took us about two and a half hours. We're back at the car and done with the hike. And we had another successful hike. Another great birthday hike for my mom. Chasm Lake, it's beautiful. I'd say it's one of the top lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's just mind blowing. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, y'all, peace.